Sweet and lovable, the Yorkshire Terrier is one of the most popular toy dog breeds in the world, and for very good reason. The Yorkie is an absolutely charming and lovable little dog. But can these strong-willed terriers be trusted to get along with children and other animals in the home? In this video, we're going to discuss the amazing Yorkie behaviour towards kids and other pets. Welcome back to the Fenrir Yorkie Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Yorkshire Terrier. Then, how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect Yorkies. So if you're a lifelong Yorkshire Terrier lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Yorkshire Terrier, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Yorkie video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll jump straight into the Yorkshire Terrier's sustainability as a companion for families with young children. Originally bred as hunting dogs for rats and mice, today's Yorkies still carry the traits of their trade. Strong-willed, courageous and determined, these tiny dogs are no pushovers and despite their generally friendly nature, they are not likely to appreciate being poked, prodded and grabbed by children. Unless, of course, they have been socialised to small humans from puppyhood onwards. By and large, Yorkshire Terriers are very fond of children who they've grown up with. Therefore, it's advisable to get a Yorkie puppy rather than adopting an adult dog. In any case, this is a toy breed that we have to consider that such a dog will see us humans as very large beings who are towering above them. Now, if an adult or child behaves in the way to make a dog feel threatened, what choice do they have? They can either respond with fight, flight, avoidance or surrender. Surrender is the preferred response, of course, but how to get an adult Yorkie, perhaps with lots of trauma in their history, to trust humans enough to calmly surrender in every situation. These tiny dogs can feel threatened by a child's rapid movement and clumsy attempts to pet the dog or to pick them up. If you bring an adult Yorkie into your home, that dog might respond with a warning bite to such behaviour. Of course, you could attempt to prevent any nipping from happening by always supervising your new adopted terrier and your children when they're playing. But it's only a question of time until something else draws your attention away and one single movement your toddler makes might frighten the dog. A frightened dog who feels backed into a corner is likely to respond with a nip or even a bite. Therefore, we can say if you bring a Yorkshire Terrier into a home with young children, injuries can occur either to the child or to the dog. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I wanted just to quickly let you know, if you're interested in watching more videos about me actually working with dogs, following the cases of the behavior modification programs and the different training programs that I implement, as well as me training and raising my own dogs, then we've got a dedicated channel to that exact thing. It's called Fenrir Canine Training. There's tons of videos on there and there's multiple new videos of me working with dogs and some of our Fenrir certified trainers working with dogs to give you incredible levels of value and to help you have perfect canine companions just like these guys here so there'll be a link in the description box below I can't wait to see you over on that channel if for example a young kid picks a tiny terrier up then drops them you may find yourself at the emergency vet and whilst getting a puppy will possibly avoid the dog nipping the child it will increase the risk of the child injuring the tiny fragile puppy all in all we would have to say that these toy terriers are not an amazing choice for a family with small children if your children are slightly older, getting a Yorkie puppy is still an amazing idea, but the option to adopt is also on the table without posing undue risk to either party. Because more mature children are less likely to accidentally frighten or even hurt a dog, and they are far more receptive to your guidance and direction of how to handle the new four-legged family member. A teenager, for example, can easily become the tiny terrier's trusted leader and best friend, and you will not have to micromanage your children in their interaction with the dog. Of course, you still need to instruct your kids how to be your new terrier's calm, consistent leader. But by and large, Yorkshire Terriers can make great family companions for a household with slightly older children. When it comes to the Yorkie's behaviour around other pets, socialisation is key. And if you have the other pets at home, getting a puppy is the best plan. Because in this way, you avoid your little rodent hunter of historical England to test their skills on your pet rabbit, hamster or guinea pig. 
Yorkies will easily tolerate pets they've grown up with, especially other dogs. When it comes to cats, the adult Yorkie may display quite a lot of excitement towards a cat in the home. But if you bring in a puppy, any cats living with you will most likely teach the new dog to respect their personal space. In general, you want to be proactive and firm with your terrier, making sure they respect any smaller animals in your home, such as birds, rodents and reptiles. The dog should be given clear boundaries and limitations and they should never be allowed to get anywhere close to another pet sleeping space or a cage or terrarium without your permission. In this way, your Yorkie will learn to respect the personal space of every other pet in the home. And this wraps up our discussion of the Yorkshire Terrier's sustainability as family pets in the household with children and other animals. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If so, please make sure you hit that like button. Get involved in the comment section down below. And don't forget, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we have three dedicated Yorkshire Terrier videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you on the next episode of the Fenrir Yorkie Show.